<laughs> I need help. Today is the 50th of November 2020 and I have no f clue of what to do with my life. That's a true story. Today we are going to the beach because that's where I like to go when I want to think. I just wanted to basically do a recap of this year, which has been a really f***ing strange year. Yeah, let's get started, I guess. I don't really have a guideline for what I want to say today. I basically just wanted to vlog about what I what I have done this year of 2020 um, and how it's been for me and how I feel about it because it's been a really crazy year. It's been it's been the fastest year of my life ever. Um, and it's been the weirdest of them all as well so I really can't sometimes um, gather my head around that because it's gone by so fast that at the same time I have no idea how I'm feeling um, and it's been basically the year where where my identity crisis has been like at its peak like it's been the worst this year I really I don't know who I am what I'm supposed to do um, and this year has been the most confusing of my life and I've done so many different things this year that I haven't done before maybe I should start from the beginning maybe that's the best way to explain how I'm feeling. <laughs> Maybe I can sit on one of these rocks right here. Ooh, it's really, really wavy today. And there are a lot of surfers, like, on the other side. Let me see if I can show you. see it's pretty calm on that side but on that side there are like really big waves so I'm just going to sit like over here okay I'm just going to chill like right here <laughs> okay hopefully I'll be okay uh, so let me get my journal out because I think it's a good way um, to organize my thoughts on this vlog otherwise it's going to be like all over the place so this is my journal <laughs> and so this is in Portuguese but the translation is important things I did or lived but that I often forget <laughs> and I wrote this like two days ago so I wanted to make a list of the things I did in 2020 that had some actual meaning to me and that were important um, somehow. On the beginning of this year, uh, I wrote my dissertation. So I was basically most of the time at home writing my dissertation um, to finish my degree. So that was one of the most important things I did was getting over with it, like with the dissertation because I was really like fed up with with it. On January I also started working with Adobe Premiere so I used to edit with Vegas Movie Studio but then this year I actually started learning how to use Premiere and 
it had quite an impact on the quality of my videos um, so I was happy about that on the 1st of February <laughs> I did my first book presentation at the public library uh, that was a pretty cool day um, because if you don't know I wrote a book it's only published in Portuguese unfortunately, unfortunately. But hopefully soon I'll be able to have it translated to other languages. Uh, it's a fantasy book. That was a really nice milestone of mine. I did my IELTS exam this year because I had to have um, a language certificate to go to Australia for my gap year and it went pretty good. Then I was able to apply for my visa uh, but yeah I'm still not in Australia right now as you can tell I'm still in Portugal during the months of summer so July July August and September I actually got a part-time at, uh, at the lounge bar I never worked at the bar before you know I always I didn't have any work experience like related to a bar or restaurant or whatever and that was actually my first paid job a pretty cool experience it really wasn't like my thing but it was nice like to do something uh, different from veterinary medicine and this year we got like the COVID stuff as you know since March which yeah it's been a really strange year because of that and on that note uh, that's why I got my my gap year was postponed I won't be able to go to Australia for now so what happened was that they suggest they suggested switching uh, the order of my gap year because after Australia I was supposed to go to Malta to have an internship on photography they suggested me to go to Malta first and then go to Australia so basically the plan now is that I'm going to Malta hopefully in January everyone is upset in some way about this COVID stuff because it really had um, a bad impact on people's lives and in my case um, it delayed my plans um, to go abroad so to go abroad <laughs> I said that a bit awkwardly I believe everything has a reason you know and I think the reason was um, uh, for my gap year to be delayed was for me to finish my degree because guess what I am a vet now <laughs> yeah it's really like I still really can't wrap my mind around I presented my my dissertation on the 7th of October so it's been a month I really don't know what to feel about anything anymore because I'm so I don't know I don't know I'm always like really un unsatisfied with everything and then at the end of September and until now uh, I am working at an animal sanctuary uh, I'm working there as a volunteer and still it's like I feel it's not my place it seems like I can't relate to anything like I don't feel satisfied with anything I'm always changing as you can tell, I'm going through a really big identity crisis uh, because I have... I'm at the place in my life right now where I don't... I don't know who I am or what I want to do. I think it might like be beautiful in a sense that um, I can basically choose... I'm basically at a point in my life where I can decide what I want to do like I have everything in front of me and I can choose whatever I want but at the same time 
I hate not having like a meaning to my life, you know? And so it seems like I'm always trying to find myself in something and it makes me anxious. I had a purpose because um, I wanted to be a veterinarian and so I, I was really driven, you know? I need to have something that drives me. For two years, now three, I really lost that I really lost that purpose. I think the only thing I really <coughs> I really know that I want is to travel and to do photography and work on my YouTube channel and do and vlog. I think that's basically what I want to do. Because I lost myself somewhere um, and I don't know who I am anymore. I don't know how to explain. Like I'm doing stuff. But it seems like it's never enough, you know? And it's never what I want, what I really feel like I should be doing. Ah, it's like, it's really, it's a really strange feeling. It's really... <laughs> I'm even tired, like, talking about it because it really, like, it really messes up with me. I'm doing, like, more holes in my ears. I'm doing more tattoos and I'll be doing piercings next, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm really going wild. I have no idea what's going on with me. Um, I really have no idea. I believe that everything is going to is going to be fine and I think it's part of it's part of life. I guess it's uh, normal not knowing what to do when you're, when you're 25 and I'm trying to embrace, you know, embrace this phase of my life. In the, mid in the midst of my craziness, I feel a bit, I have a better, I feel I'm building a better relationship with myself, which was really bad before. Through the meditation and the exercise, and the physical exercise um, and I did a lot of yoga as well but I'm really grateful I started doing I started taking care of me more this year that's another thing I had written here and yeah and apart from that um, I vlogged but I didn't vlog a lot this year it's really disappointing <laughs> that is basically the vlog for today uh, I hope you're all doing okay and yeah I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs> and I ended the list with always unsatisfied and still figuring things out. That pretty much sums up everything. Sophia 2020 dash still figuring things out. <laughs> Let's close this thing.